Hey guys, Rover Dude here. Um, I want to show you some modifications that I did to my Discovery. And uh, uh, it's, the reason I had to do this was because I went to a bigger battery with a little bit more cold cranking amps. So I'm going to switch over and show you guys exactly what I did. All right, so this is a 2003 Land Rover Discovery, the one that I've uh, done some vlogs on and also some uh, some videos not many but a couple so this is the guy right here and this is a bigger battery than what it normally brings and it's got uh, a lot more cold cranking amps and uh, a lot of uh, cranking amps too so here are the old battery terminals this is the negative and this is the positive which goes on this side and you can see two cables come to it Whereas this one here has the single cable. And these are junk because when these go in this area here, um, you're going to have all kinds of problems. It's going to be like as if it was in lockout mode and you're going to have, uh, you know, uh, diagnostic issues. I mean, all kinds of problems. So you're better off just switching these out. Okay. I went with the easy to work on um just over the counter cheapos I guess you would call them and this is what I did to the negative of course I'm going to clean it up later on and the thing is is since this is a bigger battery the terminals are actually on this side on the original so I had to modify it for them being on this side I also had to modify the the uh, feed to the fuse box here I had to cut open a little slit and I had to also um, make a, a slit here for the strap that holds in the uh, jack you may not have that anymore because most of these models that is gone so I had to modify over here too and this is the fuse box where the feed goes into the fuse box and it's just a slit coming over here if I start to take this off-road more I'm gonna seal these up with silicone so water doesn't get in there you have to do the underside anyway because this is not a completely sealed box this is just like a dust cover that it has all right so I have the secondary ground going from here it used to come through here so now what I did was I rigged up a secondary ground to the main ground platform here and it comes along here and it I used the existing wire and I just piggybacked off of that to this all right so you have a double ground you have the ground to the battery which goes to the engine and then you have another earth ground to the body here and of course the I used a heavier duty truck type terminal on this side where I could put the two um, positive wires to because one does go to the feed to the fuse box and then the other one goes down into the starter at the bottom and they're very heavy gauge uh, wires you can tell so she cranks up like a beauty um, and again let me give you another shot of the terminals that that it comes with and these were the the contact was bad I was having issues where I thought the car was in lockout mode so I figured you know what I may as well just change it out and then I modified everything for the bigger battery with the colder cranking amps. All right, it works perfect, no issues at all. So basically, that's about it. Now I'm gonna fit the covers in a little bit and and uh, button it up. That's about it. This again is not a sealed compartment either, so you do have to make some kind of modifications around it if you're gonna go in deeper water. Even though it really shouldn't affect this battery because it's a sealed battery. But um, you will have to seal this guy here. And uh, as you can tell, there's bolts down in here. Those are not sealed. So you would have to literally take this box off, seal the bottom of it, and then seal around it and where the connections come into. Or else it's not going to work for you and you're going to get water in there. And that will definitely cause a short and uh, of course other modifications that have to be done is the snorkel unit which goes on this side this piece would come off and then the snorkel will come in through here as you can tell i got to replace that that's kind of bad 
but that's the next modification I'm going to do when I get a chance. I'm going to put a snorkel unit and it's going to come out of here and then towards the side to the back. And the Freelander, um, it will be done soon. It is get, having a, an engine overhaul done. I decided to just go for it and have the engine overhauled. So that's what I'm having done. As soon as I get done with her, uh, we'll start videos on her again. All right, so basically that's it. She's pretty much ready to go. And again, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And as always, Rover Dude out.